hello friend welcome back to my channel so do you remember this yes so these are the frames for the mirrors that i used on my charger play diy series and so today just like i had shown you before i used the frames to create this and today we will be doing another version still using the frames from those mirrors that i got from the dollar tree so stick around my name is nora g let's get right into it so welcome to my channel i am glad to have you here today so today is another mirror wall decor series using the frames from my charger plate diy series all right so these were the leftovers the frames i didn't want to have them thrown out so i will be making another wall decor using these i got all of this from the dollar tree except the spray paint by design master which is from michael's i have that linked in the description box and of course my gorilla glue let's get right into it First things first, I will be covering the mirror section of the one mirror that I will be using for this DIY. The rest of the frames do not have mirrors because of course I used the mirrors from my previous DIY. Make sure to check that out, link can be found in the description box below. So you can either use paper tape to cover this, regular paper, whatever rocks your boot. I do not have paper tape today so I am using regular scotch to cover the mirror section. That is the only frame that will have a mirror. The rest of the frames are without mirrors because of course I used them in my previous video. So I will have them all layered around the one mirror to make that as a focal point and of course give it a different touch. Still keeping it a mirror frame without too many mirrors, okay? You can also do this with mirrors in all seven of the frames, okay? But since we're doing leftovers, we make do with what we have, all right? So let's carry on. So I went ahead and used Gorilla Glue around to hold them together, uh, the frames together onto the mirror in the center. However, because this takes about 24 hours to fully cure, I will actually be using this. I will be using these popsicle sticks to actually hot glue them on the back just so it holds for me to complete the project while the Gorilla Glue cures fully for a long lasting hold. Just watch as I do this. I would not recommend using the hot glue on the front part of your wall frame or your wall decor only because it can easily get messy, okay? So that is why I am using it on the back side of my mirror wall decor and then using the A6000 glue or Gorilla Glue on the front part but using very small um, portions of it. Well, if you're new to my channel, my name is Nora G. I share content on DIY decor, lifestyle, vlog, and more on this channel. So if that is something that piques your interest, please make sure to subscribe and join my family, okay? I'd love to journey with you. With that said, if you've watched right up to this point, please do comment frames in the comment section below and show your girls some love. I appreciate you all very much. Now let's continue with our DIY mirror wall decor. So although I am only using 7 frames for this particular DIY wall decor, if you're looking to doing something like this and you want something really large, you can keep adding the frames around the, um, the main mirror to make it even larger if you have a bigger wall, okay? The bigger, the better. But since we have only seven frames, we will make two of what we have. And in case you're wondering, uh, with me referring to the mirrors that I used from these frames, you can always check the description box and check out my mirror wall decor DIY series using charger plates. That is where I used the mirrors in this, from these frames in that video. So next, I will be using my gold spray by Design Master to spray paint this gold. And ta-da, here we go. You could also do this in different colors. You could keep it black, white, silver, you name it. That is your prerogative. Next, I will be using these gold hoops, which I got from Michaels a while back. And so since I'm repurposing, I will be using this for this DIY. I think I have seen this at the Dollar Tree as well in silver. You can actually buy those and spray paint them gold and also use them for your own project. Okay, but first I have to repel the protection that I had over the mirrors and wipe that off before 
gluing them, gluing the hoops onto the frames. So just watch as I do this. So first things first, I place the hoops in the areas where I would like them glued to make sure that it is properly aligned. And then I will go ahead to use my Gorilla Glue to glue them onto the frames. I'm using very, very little portion of this, not too much, because again, I do not want it to overflow and mess up my work. All right, so when I glued the first one, it was all kind of okay, but I felt like I kept moving that from the original position. So what I did was I took a marker, not a marker, a pencil head, to actually mark the areas where I want to put the glue onto the frames uh, and, the, and the hoop. Okay, so that way I can take it off and I know exactly where I'm going to be placing them back on. So just watch as I complete this. Again, like I had mentioned, Gorilla Glue, just like E6000 glue, takes a while to cure. It takes at least 16 hours to 24 hours to properly cure. So I did this and allowed it to cure overnight because I could not move the frame unless this was properly dry. So once this was dry, this was our final look. I just love how this turned out. It is very simple, easy to do, and it just lights up my space. I really, really love the outcome. So please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this particular wall frame using Dollar Tree mirror frames. I love that this piece is very versatile even though it is very easy. You can actually make this in any color if you're choosing gold, silver, white, black, you name it. And you can easily incorporate this into your home aesthetic. And so that will sum it up for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to smash that like button. And also please do hit that subscribe button and join my Nook family. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching, have a great day and make sure to check out my other videos. I have a lot of DIY decor lifestyle videos on my channel so make sure to check those out. Peace out.